we are back. There was no Jimmy Muir episode yesterday. First time in about 81 days, I think, that life just got in the way. We did have a Gala save video. But here we are. We're going to play Man City. And you might think that's strange, but I'll show you in a second. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it, mew it. He likes to mew it. Okay, like I said, you might find it slightly odd that we changed our mind. We were going to play the Leeds game. Obviously, it's a home game against Leeds. Um, but we realised that Man City are currently 17th in the league. Um, and uh, Antonio Conte, who's their manager, is under uh, quite a lot of pressure. The Fulham ga uh, game job became available, but we're not interested in that. So if we could win today, we could potentially get in the sack and also the Brighton job is there so could we get Jimmy a, a return to Brighton let's see okay so just while it's loading Man City have actually only won one game um, all season which was actually two games ago they beat Southampton at home so the fact that they've won at home maybe doesn't bode that well for us uh, we still have the issue with Pedro Porro he obviously wanted to leave in the uh, transfer window but we managed to keep hold of him and um canna the belgian wonder kid the cdm has um kind of got over his problems about wanting to leave and he's now happy to stay so that's good um dolberg's back and not injured which is a minor miracle so peter evandro mepham taylor canna kozek Who's playing against his former club? Cook, Ramsden, Wilson, Muir is the lineup. They've got Dybala, Bernardo Silva, Ruben Neves, Ben Chilwell, Edison still the goalkeeper. They've got Hakimi, Saka, Under. So they've got some. Uh, some very good players still, so I don't really know what's going wrong. That Ristovsky seems to score a lot of goals, the regen that they've got. Right. See how we get on. We are currently... Eighth in the league. This isn't too shabby at all. It would be crazy if we could get Jimmy into Europe. Even if we could just get him into the uh, the Euro Cup 2. Or I can't even remember what the... If they haven't got the license for it, but I can't remember what the official name for it was. Thought we were going to steal that then. We've started with Jimmy up front. They're popping it around nicely. Oh, we're in trouble here. And it's wide of the post. Ramsden. Oh, we've lost out in the midfield. We do press really aggressively, which is nice, but look how close those two players are. You're just going to get beaten with one pass. And Ruben Neves has scored from the edge of the box. And it's his first goal of the season, of course. Good finish, that. He is well known, obviously, especially in real life, for his long-range shooting ability. We've got loads of bodies back. So I don't really know. 
Oh, he's just hit a first time shot. Nobody's got out in time to block it. 1 0 City. Surprisingly, that would still keep us 8th. There must be people under here, underneath us that haven't played. Well, only really Sheffield United. Chelsea below us currently. Okay, well, I think I'll continue as we are. There's no rush to try and get back into the game straight away. And then we'll make some changes. He's not even being specifically marked. I swear that is the one job of the uh, assistant manager <laughs> is to set the opposition instructions. Ruben Neves is having a 9 out of 10. Okay, right, we're going to have to change. Okay, so we're really going to put some pressure on them now. And they've got a set piece. And they've put it over the bar. That would have been good timing. So we've gone to a 3-4-3. Three, three. Just going to move it to route 1. And very attacking. Route 1. Very attacking. There we go. Let's see if we can create something in this last 8 minutes. Doesn't look like it. And that's full time. A 1 0 narrow loss. <sighs> that's upsetting. We do not have a good time in, uh, in Manchester. Down at the bottom there, it says Huddersfield have conceded two goals in three Carabao Cup games. Well, we scored two of them and still managed to get knocked out. Okay, the plan was to only do one game, but due to the fact that it would make it incredibly, incredibly uh, short, the video, I decided to do the Leeds game as well. We've gone a little bit more attacking. We've gone for a 4-3-3 rather than the usual 4-1-4-1. I mean... It's all a 4-5-1, really, people would argue. But an attacking emphasis, we're at home. We have dropped down to, I believe we dropped down to ninth. They're in 13th position. So it should be a pretty good game. And, uh, yeah, that's our team. So we've put Porro back in. Mepham, Evandro, uh, Taylor, Kana, Cook, Ramsden, Mewitt, Wilson, Dolberg. They've gone for a 4-2-3-1 with pretty much 90% regens. So that's interesting. Saliba, the former uh, Arsenal player. Balcom. Valerie. Van der Heide. But the rest are all, uh, they're all regens. People starting to get a little bit unhappy due to the fact that we're not winning games, but we'll see. As you can see there, we're ninth. Wilson, long ball. Mewitt, Dolberg's going to pick it up outside the box. Wilson fires it past the goalkeeper for his second goal of the season. Good finish. Dolberg with the assist. I don't really know what's happened to Hozek because last season he was absolutely banging in goals. He's cut inside here. No, he still uses his left. Um, and yeah, he was top scorer, that's our top scorer this season. He can't hit a band R, so weird one. A lot of teams on and around 18 points there, as you can see, from 7th, 8th. On 18, 9th on 16, 10th on 15, Norwich, so all the way down to 11th, 
Arsenal are top, they have 30 points already, that's crazy. But it would be really nice to win this game, that actually puts us up to 7th in the league. Half time. I think Jimmy Moose had three fouls against him today, so he's giving them a problem. Just bring them back. Play slightly more conservatively. Some of you will be horrified to see that Deli Ali is playing for Arsenal these days. <laughs> is this going to be a highlight? They brought on a wonder kid on the wing. Yo. Oh. Baka. And with the game, moving along, are we going to do a Man City to Leeds? We've got a throw in here. Me a bit. Please don't give it away. Pedro Porro. Please don't give it away. Cook. Canna. Dahlberg. Ramsden. Cook. Wilson. Hits it straight out of the goalkeeper. And we're nearly finished at the time. Ball over the bar. Is that going to be the end of the game? And it is. There you go. 1-0. We've done exactly the same to uh, Leeds. Oh dear, what did we say there? I didn't really pay attention. Um, we did exactly the same to Leeds. There we go, we've got them happy now. As uh, Man City just did to us. There you go, I've seen ball, uh, uh, Brighton had lost there, so maybe that'll be the end for them. Or their manager, should I say. Okay, so we've got 16 days now uh, until we play the Fulham game. And so we're up into seventh. The poll in the top right corner, should be about here, <laughs> will be, should we stay at Bournemouth? This is depending if the manager from Brighton gets sacked. Should we stay at Bournemouth, where we're seventh in the league, and obviously potentially get Jimmy into Europe? Long, long time to go yet, though. Or would we go back, take uh, Jimmy back to Brighton Hove Albion, where he started his, his whole career? What makes sense? Vote in that poll up here and let me know what you think. And I'll see you in episode 82.